What's up, Simonix? Welcome back to your favorite show. It is once again time for Ionic App Review. The last episode was quite some time ago and I got a lot of submissions and for today I really picked three epic Ionic applications. They were either built with Ionic React or Ionic Angular, they use Firebase or Node.js in the back end and from the outside those three applications look amazing. I really think by looking at the screenshots in the App Store you can't really tell that they are made with an Ionic framework or that they could as well have been built with iOS or Android native. I only installed them, I haven't looked at them, but now it's time for the review of these three applications. Hopefully we will find at least a bit that could be improved with those applications, but I kind of feel like we're just celebrating Ionic applications today. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so first application of the day is called Chinese Peach, the fastest way to learn Chinese. And yes, that is an Ionic application. Uh, the creator actually also sent this link to Reddit. It got 106 upvotes, so uh, I'm really looking forward to this application. Um, so let's see the reason why you need uh, whatever. Um, the only thing uh, I might like to see is something like directly go to the app store here or not continue to the app, which actually brings me to the web version. Um, so we will take a look at the application, not the web version. All right, so we got a nice splash screen and we got a nice starting screen. You can sometimes see that those uh, buttons are kind of like the Ionic uh, style of buttons, um, which doesn't always look too native, but uh, we will just continue with it. Um, I guess I can't start because I don't have an account. So, oh, I can continue without an account. That's nice. Yeah, I actually know a, some Chinese. Um, and we see these uh, arrow dots here from an Ionic slide, but I actually can't slide. So it feels a bit strange. But uh, anyway, let's say I know some Chinese. It's gonna be funny. Let's do our first review. Do you remember how to say person, people in Chinese? Um, actually no idea but we already see like the first maybe component that's used across the application i can click this i get some information um i can't really hear it although my sound is turned on uh, might have to do with my broadcasting to my computer um, and also the buttons could need a bit more padding i really like to not have the text that close to the buttons anyway uh let's click i forgot i really want to get to the application um, uh, yeah, yeah, I really forgot. Can we just continue? No, I'm, uh, no, I just forgot. I really don't know how to leave that card. I see the dots at the bottom. I always say I, I forgot. Let's just assume I remember. Okay, that brings us to the next part. Okay, a lot of text on this card, but I guess it's like an, a little introduction. Uh, now let's discover how to use a flashcard. I really like that it has this sort of introduction to the features uh, with this little hand where to click. Um, in applications that have a lot of functionalities or like these things, wow, that is cool. It's really good to explain exactly where the users can click so the user can understand the UI and UX of the application. I guess I should now draw this. Um, that will be terrible. Um, I never wrote anything in Chinese. I just tried to learn a bit. What's up? That was fine, wasn't it? But once again, I feel a bit stuck because I'm not doing it too bad. Uh, I can't do any better here. I don't know how I would. But this editor view with uh, drawing on this is really cool, I must admit. Yeah, access my microphone. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing this. Um, but <coughs> Mac OS app development index. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> Ionic Academy is the best place on earth. Almost, almost. Let's finally get into the application. Uh, it looks to me a bit like other learning applications. Um, I really think it is made great. Uh, that we start at the bottom, that's usually what you see in those uh, language learning applications. Uh, we see this custom toolbar with a custom shape, uh, custom icons, and really, I really like this view. In some places, I really feel like uh, they wanted to do a bit too much. For example, this shadow in my eyes is a bit too hard, too big. It's not looking that modern. Then at the top, we got this nice little uh, image static graphic there, uh, but it's also uh, making you not correctly see that input field because you got white on white here. 
Um, so in some places it's not 100%, but those are just really, uh, in general, this is really amazing what we can see in this application. Okay, in this list, we actually see a nice loading animation. So when you scroll to the bottom, those cards fade in. I really appreciate that as well. Uh, not sure what's made to be a virtual list or something because I don't see any reload. Uh, now we saw a reload, but overall, a uh, really cool staggering animation inside a list. Let's try and learn a bit of Chinese. Um, I actually can't use the introduction. Yes, I can. I can go to lesson one. Which one of this is hello? Uh, Ni hao. I know that one. Check and you're correct. Ni hao. Which one is goodbye? Uh, Sai Jian. Check. I'm pretty good. I might use this application more often. This application really combines a lot of cool things. We saw the drawing, uh, it's recognizing my voice. I really like the UI. There's really not too much bad I can say about this application, only that um, you can't really tell that this application is not an Ionic application. It really looks amazing. Uh, quickly to uh, what the developer sent to me, it's used Ionic 5 uh, Cordova because at the time creating this application, Capacitor wasn't released. Um, and Angular in the backend, uh, Node.js and Python, Google Cloud Platform and Google Speech Recognition API and also Firebase. And you see, with that tech stack, uh, everyone could use that, everyone cre could create that application, although this took uh, two years as the developer said. So um, if you want to learn Chinese, this application looks really cool. I will actually um, try and use it a bit because I tried to learn Chinese in the past. So go check it out. Learn Chinese should be available on both Android and iOS. And of course, also as a web version, uh, an amazing application. Second application is called Matcha Your Friends Habit Tracker. Although with that name, you might get a lot of wrong search results. It's nice to directly have the links in here. Uh, all of these really have nice landing pages and also the App Store uh, preview here with the screenshots here, even an image looks amazing. So let's take a look at this on a device. Um, that is actually the first bad thing we have to note. Um, yeah, it is okay to send push notifications, but I would always defer this to a point where the user knows why he or she should subscribe to push notifications. Okay, welcome to Matcha, change your life, uh, habit after habit. Uh, everyone seems to have like this introduction slide these days, but these actually look pretty cool. As always, I will not read anything, so I'm well prepared for the application. Let's get into this. Can I uh, somehow log in? Oh, I can sign in with Apple, nice. Maybe the creator used my tutorial for Apple sign-in. That would be kinda cool. And now I'm reviewing the application. Wake up with determination, go to bed with satisfaction. Starts. Uh, nice. Start your day. Once again, the buttons always look kind of the same with Ionic. So if you want to, or people not recognize your application as an Ionic application, put some uh, thought into creating your buttons. Uh, also on that view, I kind of, for whatever reason, I kind of don't like when the text is that close uh, to the border of my screen. So I would love to have more padding. And for the font in here, uh, I'm not really into fonts. Copper plate gothic? That's in the sans serif family of typeface. Sans serif. But maybe something else. Now let's see what we got. We got a site menu, um, Simon Grimm, thanks a lot. Uh, looks cool, the site menu, friends matcher, settings, uh, whatever, set avatar, logout, store, uh, change your background. So it looks like some <clears throat> kind of in-app purchase perhaps. Where's actually the meat? I guess I'm clicking this plus. Uh, okay, that works pretty cool. I wanna add a new habit, start a new habit. I'm forever alone. Uh, I want to have definitely a more healthy, um, yeah, I need to drink a lot more, it repeats for 21 days. So it guides you quite nicely through all of the steps, but here we see a little, uh, I found something, that text on that doesn't look too good. Let's make it the whole day, uh, once again, uh, all of this looks a bit crumbled into two. There's enough space on the screen, just make it a bit different with more padding, uh, really, it's not a big deal. Let's hit create and we see habit created. These are actually from what I know, uh, SVGs from a marketing site. I really have to look it up. Um, you can color them to your own needs. So it kind of looks to me like they're from that site. Uh, okay, now I also want to create a new habit. Uh, big priority, uh, my task, record video. 
time looks fine date picker looks fine create to do must start in the future i don't know what's the future okay to do created first that actually looks quite nice uh the appearance of that looks cool the disappearance not that much um so how can i get to are you sure want to delete no i i just want to but that is kind of cool really some interesting ui animations ux effects in these applications uh that i really enjoy i just wanted to get to the next day so i was trying to do to swipe but the swiping only works uh, on the card and not on the the arrow icons here at the bottom anyway the screens looks kind of cool maybe it's a bit too much uh, playful in the background could be uh, could use a bit more blur but overall, the colors are fitting. We got the same primary color in all the places for text. Overall, I think the Matcha application is another great habit tracker and I really enjoy that it's made with Ionic. Once again, you see that you don't have to rely on the standard side menu. You can really customize this exactly to your needs. Um, this isn't looking uh, in any way like the standard Ionic side menu. But what you also should always take care of is the header area in the bottom, you see for the bottom, this is kind of too close to the bottom and we also saw this when we created a new habit uh, that we had at some point, like with the healthy habit, uh, the header above this image. So um, I know it requires a lot of testing in different cases, uh, but always make sure that your header is somehow visible and that you don't uh, get into any of these issues. Otherwise, go check it out. Matcha Friends Habit Tracker on Android and also iOS available. Give it five stars. Uh, the creator definitely deserves this. All right, third and final application and I couldn't be more excited about this one. It is called Cybercode Online. Perhaps you've already played it. It is built with Ionic React. It uses Firebase Cloud Functions in the back end and well, it got as well a lot of upvotes on Reddit and it also got tons of great ratings and looks amazing from the outside. So let's take a look at Cybercode Online. Now, um, to track your activity across, this is, uh, no, nah, I actually uh, ask app not to track. This is already amazing with the little animation right here. Um, the email fields, it really feels like totally a natural game. Let's see, I don't really have an account. So let's create one. I appreciate that everyone's picking up uh, sign in with Apple so I can also hide my email. Um, this is maybe a bit too early. Uh, could have come at a bit later point. Once again, please enter your preferred name. Captain Ionic, of course. I don't know if you can hear this, but that game actually got sound. So that is a big nana plus. Let's hit confirm and get into the game. Dexter Huang created this game. Uh, and it really it is amazing. Um, it does have the standard Ionic tab bar at the bottom, um, but we can see basically everything is so much customized that you don't see any, uh, any form of uh, default input, default button or whatever. I really don't know how this works. Let's quickly get around through the application. Uh, okay, I really need a weapon. Okay, I don't have anything, that's bad. Uh, we got a lot of quests in here. Uh, we got a chat. Cool. That's cool. Uh, and we also got me, Captain Ionic, with a nice segment. Is this actually? This is swipeable. Of course, we got it swipeable. Nice one. Also, a cool little a uh, custom fab button here right about the me. Uh, is the it's the default fab, but with a lot of customizations, of course. Okay, I can go into dungeons. Really. I don't think I should go into dungeons. I really need to play this first. But at the same time, I also want to show you something else because this game is actually also available in the browser. You can play it uh, at your job and no one will notice it because it looks like Visual Studio Code. This is so amazing, cool, invalid email. Uh, really, this is genius uh, in creativity. Uh, can I sign in with Apple in here as well? Yes, of course. That is just, I just quickly wanted to see how it looks in the browser. <laughs> This is just, uh, I can't, I can't say anything bad about this because the level of creativity, the level of details here, which looks exactly like we're inside Visual Studio Code, uh, to mimic this behavior, really, uh, so many, so much love to the creator of this game. But also, let's get back into the uh, application. I quickly want to actually play it because I have uh, no idea what's going on. So let's start your adventure. Start with level 1 to area 10. Uh, I should really read more. Um, 
I click primary attack to attack the enemy. I do you attacked. Oh, my health is dropping quite fast. Uh, I don't have any other weapon. Oh no, I'm not gonna survive this. I'm zero. Yeah! Ah! Uh, okay, the, at the bottom is my health. We're fine. We're fine. We got it. We take the loot uh, and we receive one trash upgrade. That sounds amazing. Let's also attack this one. My health suddenly restored and I feel a lot better. Although the uh, enemy is angry, I'm gonna take the common boots cash. This could be my next game to play, maybe. I actually don't want to or and really can't say anything bad about this. The level of detail in this application, both inside the native uh, Ionic application as well as the web implementation is just amazing. And it makes me kinda happy to see that stuff like this is possible with Ionic. Of course, there are no big graphics in this game, but I feel like this game doesn't need any graphics. We see this little uh, animation here already gives the total flair of that game. Actually, this one was one thing I found pretty cool right now. Uh, if I discard, it blurs the background and shows this little card at the bottom here. Uh, I feel like we could need a tutorial on that because I kind of like that interaction uh, instead of the regular alert confirm. Um, so I'm gonna play a bit more. Uh, I definitely Captain Ionic needs to get some levels so I can finally return to Shangri-La city center at one point. And I think you should do the same. Check out Cybercode online. You can play it in your browser while uh, working. Nobody will notice. You can play it on your device uh, when you commute. Although right now people shouldn't really commute. Uh, would be better. Uh, I'm here, Captain Ionic. You might see me online. Give this game a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe to all the updates. No, that was my channel. Give it a star on GitHub and check it out. It was built with Ionic. All right, that was today's episode of Ionic App Review. It was more like Ionic App Appreciation video because all of these three applications looked amazing from both the outside and the inside. Once again, all of them were built with Ionic, sometimes using Angular or React. Cordova, Capacitor, Firebase in the back end, custom back end. I think it's amazing to see what you can build with Ionic. We got the Chinese application to learn Chinese. I will check it out once again. Perhaps I can come up with a Chinese video then <laughs> in a few months. Uh, we got the habit tracker, which also uh, looked amazing from the UI. And finally, the uh, online code, what was the name? Cybercode online game built with Ionic. All three of them deserve a round of applause. <laughs> because the applications look great and I'm sure they put a lot of time and effort into building them. So go check them out on the App Store, link below the video, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and leave your own Ionic application if you've built some so I can create more reviews. Maybe this episode sparked a little joy to create your own Ionic applications. If that's the case, also check out my Ionic Academy where I try to help you get better and get the most out of Ionic and upgrade your Ionic skills. I've been Simon. This has been our app review and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon. Simon.